Hey y'all, this is AL Thick Madame and Cinnamon Sugar. And um, before I even get into how today went, I gotta tell y'all about what happened when I left home last night. So I left home last night in preparation to go to work. And I was like, I know this ain't what I think it is. It's looking like an opened package. And it was in between where you have to walk from my floor and the first floor. And I was like, it looked like it's open. I was like, maybe I'm crazy, but it looked like it's an open package. So when I got up on it, I was like, um, this is a package. Is it something in it? Did somebody drop it because they had opened a package and they dropped it on accident? Is that what this is? Or is this a, a package that someone has opened and just sat here? And my mind was like, I feel like this is something that somebody did. And I'm like, so just my spotty censorships just kept tingling. And I was like, I really feel like it's mine. I picked the bag up because I've never gotten anything from them before. So I didn't know what the bag looked like. I picked the bag up. Look at it. The label has my name on it. My name, my address, my actual apartment number. Like nothing was off. So I'm like... Ain't no way the folks came to the house and just threw my stuff in the middle of the floor and opened it up. Ain't no way. Like, ain't no way. And there are times that I be having a, 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 a tough time trying to get stuff open. Bags like this. I'm gonna park in a second and I'm gonna show y'all what the bag look like. But I'm just saying, it ain't no flimsy bag. So I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I'm not gonna go, I'm gonna go straight. I don't need to do all this. So, uh, I almost forgot what I was even coming here for. I don't need to go on that side. So, um, I'm coming over here to get me some 91% alcohol, rubbing alcohol to be exact. Um, what are you doing? Get on down the road, sir. I did the most. But anyway, so, <clears throat> I'm about to freeze to death. Um, oh yeah, let me show y'all what the bag looks like. So, first of all, I have not done anything to alter this bag. This is what it looks like on the back. But it's Shaper Mint, okay? Uh, as I've mentioned to y'all before, I have been in search of good bras. Now, as you can tell somebody, pried this bag open. It wasn't cut open. Not, not, you literally just pried this bag open. Like, why? And I'm like wait a minute is everything in it now i don't even remember how many of whatever i ordered it was in here and now i'm kind of like well dang you know i think i ordered four i don't know it's four things in here and i'm like well hopefully this is everything because i really don't even remember if this i don't think i ordered no camisole but okay um i know i ordered certain bras one of which i got i got i don't know they had like a little sale like a week or two ago. So I was like, ooh, let me see what this is hidden for. And I need some good bras anyway. Ooh, yeah, 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 whatever, right? I'm gonna go to the website when I get off here. But I have four items right here. And I hope that this is everything. So I have four things right here. I'm just like, this is not how this go. Um, You're not gonna try to trick me into believing that my package, my package now, my package just so happened to be opened up and is literally sitting when you're going down the walkway, at least for me, because I'm on the second floor versus the first. So you don't went. This is what I'm thinking has happened. One of the raggedy people that live above me, that's an adult in the situation, saw my package sitting at my door and decided, oh, let me open this up so I can look and see what's in here. Looked in the package, saw it was nothing that you could fit because heifer, you ain't got no breasts. And was like, oh, okay. Well, I can't steal this. So let me be petty and do the most and go walk the back down the stairs and put it in between the first floor and the second floor where nobody, like nobody, like you literally have to just walk because there's nowhere for you to go after that. Like, why would you do that? I feel like this man looking in my face, y'all. I'm so sorry. Is he is and he getting on my nerve. I wish you would get out of this car. See, I might go, y'all. I'm finna go in here and do this 
so I can go back home because this man getting on my nerves looking in my face and I'm gonna drive the rest of the way home I'll be back okay y'all I'm back because um this man still sitting here doing the most child I didn't even do my normal routine I have a routine that I follow before I get out of the car I sat up here forgot my wallet in the car and everything because I just completely deviated from the from my um normal protocol but anyway yeah let me get up out of here because he just continues to look at my face I can't stand nobody staring at my face you ain't nobody I'm interested in. Ain't no reason you be looking up at my face, sir. I don't like that. Then, when I finally did make it to the building, somebody looking suspicious standing outside the door looking like he about to sex traffic some folks. I was like, yeah, let me hurry up and get in here because if he try me, he gonna get sprayed in the face. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll be having time. These people really be trying to let me keep going because y'all don't know what y'all want to do. Um, But yeah, I'm on my way home now, y'all get up out this parking lot because people own one already I ain't even it ain't even fully time for everybody to really be up like that you know what I'm saying <laughs> so Saturday most people a lot of people are off let me not say most a lot of people are off so I'm like why are you out being ignorant already please stop anyway so I am going to text my landlord and tell her what happened because I've literally never experienced that before. Um, little does she know the heifer that live upstairs who won't control her children. I've seen her come into the building, retrieve packages, and then leave back out. So I don't know if that was an instance where she saw my package at the door up under the mailbox and she grabbed it and just opened it just to do it or what i don't know i'm because this has never happened before like why is why is random stuff like this happening all of a sudden and i was wondering if something was gonna you know all of a sudden happen because i have you know told on her and her raggedy children so um i'm tired y'all i've been so tired like even though i did see queen sugar i've been so tired i have not had the energy to even do the video on it so after I go to work tomorrow, if I'm feeling up to it, I will then do it, um, or I'll do it Monday um, before I have to prepare to go to sleep for work because I got to work on my first full day that I'm supposed to be off. So yeah, there's that. Let me hurry up because hopefully won't no ignorance happen like it did the other day. So that's what went on ahead and just sped off because they be doing the most. Like they really will whoop over into my lane, and it's like. Uh, you should have got in this lane. Uh-oh, wait a minute. The power out. Okay, they're fixing it. Because the light was just flashing. They just, just fixed it. <sighs> but yeah, I need to get down to the bottom of that. Because um, I don't buy none of the stuff that I buy. I work. I go to work. This heifer don't work. She getting money from somewhere to do whatever it is that she do in her life. I actually go to work and pay for the things that I buy myself, whether I need them or not. So I'm going to need for my items to be intact. There was only one instance where I opened somebody's package in that building. And it wasn't like ripped open. It wasn't a situation where it was ripped open. It was a box. And then come to find out after all that, it wasn't even theirs. So it didn't even matter. I put a note with it and everything because that day, y'all, I had about 15, 10 to 15 packages like legit that were piled in front of my door. <laughs> I was grateful because that was one less thing I had to do. I ain't have to go downstairs, retrieve my packages and haul them back up the steps. So, you know, the mail carrier actually hauled them up there for me. So, you know what I'm saying? But I was so happy. Like, I, I don't know if y'all are like me, but like when I get packages, even though it's stuff that I've ordered myself that I know that are coming, I get happy like it's Christmas. <laughs> Like I'm opening packages under a Christmas tree. I don't know what's wrong with me, but that's how I feel. So that particular time, I don't know why. It's like everything set it off and came on that day. And they piled it all at my door. I was so happy. But it was like a, uh, it ended up being a thing of masks. And I was like, I ain't order no masks. Not no disposable masks. I already, the, or, the only mask I have been ordering since all of this stuff has been popping off. All right, and see, I knew this dummy was going to try me. Get your dumb behind on. Get your dumb behind on. Y'all, I'm sorry. I have uh, road rage. And I have a right to have road rage around here because these people do not know how to drive. They got a brand new car. 
And then they whooped over in front of me. You should have been in the lane to begin with. You knew where you were going. Like, what was the reason for you to not be in the lane you were supposed to be in to begin with? It ain't like traffic thick. And then it's 5 o'clock traffic, traffic thick. And you couldn't be able to get over. You weren't able to get over. Like, come on now. So, anyway, y'all, I'm so frustrated because my package was open. First of all, monkeypox is going on. First, second, and third of all, mon monkeypox is going on. So... Y'all over here opening packages. You know you didn't order nothing from Shaper Mint. You know you didn't open nothing from Shaper Mint. You didn't order nothing. So I don't know why you opening my package. Like my head hurt, hurting. Like I'm I'm disgusted. Nobody since I have lived in that building has tried my packages. I had one instance where it was Christmas time. Uh, well, it was about to be Thanksgiving or Christmas time and somebody who hadn't been living in the neighborhood came and took a little uh, heater that I'd ordered. It was $70 but it didn't matter because I'd ordered it through Walmart and they gave me my money right back. And it was done because as soon as they dropped it off, instead of them putting it in the building, they set it outside the door. My building locks. And so I was just like, why would, why would you do that? And the notification went off. I was like, oh, okay, it's here. By the time they sat it down, somebody ran up and took it. I'm just like, that was the only time I had a package stolen before. But, yeah, uh, as far as somebody in my building coming and opening my package, and then because it's something that they can't use, you're going to sit it in between the two floors that I live on? Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> it, to me, it's obvious that it's them. Y'all, I'm sorry. I had to vent about that because I'm just like, don't. you already trying me because I haven't been able to get sleep. I'm depressed. When I'm depressed, I like to sleep. I'm already working. And the fact that I work all the time, even when I just work my normal hours, get your behind when. Need to learn how to drive. Y'all, I'm sorry. I just cannot stand people who don't know how to drive did all of that to get in front of me and then didn't put on a turn signal when they was getting off on the exit they supposed to get off on anyway uh but yeah y'all i'm so sorry these people just to piss me off for the day for the week all of that you know what i'm saying i'm 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 supposed to be excited because today is supposed to be my friday and it's not so if i wanted to watch my game today i can't watch my game today which it should be a really good game and I hope we win because that was one thing I was looking forward to because I have been working on weekends for quite a few years now and I haven't been able to enjoy watching Alabama football games so I'm bummed about that hopefully we pull it out again this week I think we play Longhorn the Texas Longhorns if I'm not mistaken so anyway uh I'm very uh, annoyed by that and I'm going to text the landlord and let her know that somebody opened my package and then they left it like that so you could tell somebody. In my opinion, I feel like that is clear that somebody was being petty. And um, I don't know if she's going to take heed or whatever because like I told y'all before, she still hasn't responded to when I texted her and asked her when were the people moving out because they were disturbing me so bad. Like it was my, It was literally about to be my first day on my new schedule. And I had barely had any sleep by the time it was time for me to go to work and I had been to work. Like, I ain't even hardly get no sleep. Why are your children, why are they all up after 8 p.m.? Uh, up after 9 p.m., let me say 9. They be up at 11, 12. I be like, why? What is the reason? And they're underage. Like, they're, they're it's not like they preteens or something like that. Y'all, I had to skirt off real quick. I was scared that somebody was going to hit me. They came from out of, I hate that spot because you can't really see. I ain't never did that before. That was crazy. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'm just like, I've never had that to happen to me before. So I'm pissed off and it's annoying me very, very bad. But she hasn't said anything. What are you doing? Child, let me go around these people because it's like they kept weaving in and out of the non traffic that's happening. I'm just like, baby, what is, what is you doing? See, this is why I know y'all be like, girl, what are you talking about? They be doing the least over here, and I don't understand. 
<sighs> anyway, I'm about to be at the house, y'all. So, yeah. But I'm very highly upset about my package being open. Monkeypox going on around here. Don't touch my packages. Don't touch my packages. Unless you are the grandson of the elderly couple that live below me, do not touch my packages. Because he actually is sweet. I actually watch him wash his hands. Like, he's very, very... I guess because he has autism, a certain type of autism, or he just is the type of person that he is, he believes in washing his hands thoroughly and all that. Like, I've seen him. Like, he sets it off. So, I'm just like, don't touch my packages unless you're him. Basically, unless you're unless you're one of the, any anybody else in the building, if you're any of the other people in the building, y'all are free to to bring my packages to my door. But everybody else, meaning her and anybody who is affiliated with her and her children, don't touch my packages. I'm at the house. It is freezing outside, y'all. I ain't know it was gonna be cold like this. If I had known that, I would have brought my coat. Like I got out the car. I opened the door to go inside the store. I said, oh, God, no. What is going on? Uh, the weather is ridiculous. I was like, oh, ain't nobody got time. So, anyway, um, and my head hurting. I'm dreading going in this house. I'm, I'm pissed off. I'm trying not to be. I'm trying to calm myself down because I'm sleep deprived. Um, I'm depressed. I'm sad. It's a lot of stuff going on on top of that. So, like, I, I don't need the added foolishness. Like, that's why I'm just like, somebody, please stop trying me. But if if my if my gut is telling me correctly, they done tried my stuff. And like I said, when I get off here, I'm going to check online to see if I only have four items because I don't remember. I honestly don't. Um, I be ordering bras. I order bras a few times a year. I love bras. I've done the most so far this year, so I might not need to order no more until like maybe six months to nine months away from here, from this time. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to get up off that now. I know y'all probably like, girl, you going off over bras. It's my package, though. It's my package that you touching. Don't touch my packages. Like, it didn't even dawn on me until after I had touched the package. Like, uh-uh. It's mine. And it was opened. And it was my bras. And I said, okay, I'm not gonna even gonna think about it. I'm not gonna think about it. When I went to when I went to work and went inside of work and clocked in and all that stuff, I thought about coming out on my break. Like I normally do. Like when I pick up packages on the way out, I normally just, you know, I come to the car and I open them and do all the other stuff. I was just like, I'm not even gonna go out to the car because I'm gonna I'm get pissed off and I'm gonna bring it inside to work. So no. I try not to bring stuff to work um, that will bring down the morale. So, yeah, y'all, I'm I'm sorry. It, this has really pissed me off because I've never had this to happen to me before. I really feel like it was this raggedy heifer and her children or her or one of the people who are affiliated with her. I really feel like it's one of them. Anyway, and I apologize for calling them raggedy, the children, at least. Um, I'm just saying, I, I don't curse. So I'm just like, what can I say? Anybody else would have called them all kinds of, uh, <laughs> terrible things. So yeah, um, moving right along today, work actually went okay. Um, the side heifer volunteered in the place of her partner. So, uh, she was back there in the new department with us. And I'm just like, can y'all please have this help for the start her training now because we won't have to deal with her for a while at least you know what i'm saying if we're lucky we won't have to deal with her at all ever again like as luck would have it for us like i'm really hoping that that's what would happen so anyway um so she was back there and on the schedule like now i'm actually learning how to read how their schedule looks the schedule for that department is completely set apart from everybody else's because all the other departments it's on a sheet another sheet all jumbled together so i looked at it and um old boy who came back to work he was the breaker and they had me and that dumb heifer um running two sides of the department right so 
it just was what it was. I was like, well, if it worked out in my favor, because I ain't got to have nothing to do with her. But she wanted to be ignorant. And like I told y'all yesterday, when I was the breaker, I had to do all of the work for her, which is what I'm supposed to do as the breaker. When he came over there, I explained to him what he had to do. And she told him, well, you ain't, you, I'm doing this for myself. And then y'all, she was going through, right? And so even though he don't like her, he tried to go over there and help her because he was a breaker. And she over told her, I don't need no help. Y'all, her sex should look up. It look a whole mess and a half but whatever so anyway um we had a decent day considering um something broke in the back i told you they don't keep up with the maintenance on stuff they wait until it's too late and now we're inconvenienced before they do what they need to do then we got the people who i guess would ha actually fix or have solutions in, in as far as ways to fix the issues that we're having. They're supposed to come in starting like Monday. Um, one of the supervisors, he's going to be on first. He's going to be um, on the on the first shift to talk with them. And he mad. <laughs> the man who lived for me, when we were about to clock out, he was like, um, I asked him when we were going to start doing something in particular. He was like, oh, Tuesday night. I was like, oh, okay. And so he was like, when is the next time we're going to have you back there with us? I was like, I don't know. I think Tuesday. And so um, he'd be real excited when he see me. So then he told me that um, he ain't going to see me because the people are coming. So they want all of the people who are in the higher positions like him that do leadership roles to be there on the main shift. So he mad about it. And that was funny. Um, the person who never talks to me, she didn't talk to me like for real today. We were both in the bathroom at the same time and she held the door open for me and I said, thank you. And she actually said, you're welcome. And like, she normally, like any other time, shoot, she would have been letting the door close on me and everything. I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Um tomorrow is going to be the day that they have the funeral service for the divorced man, divorced man's mama, okay? So I reached out to him today because I don't know what kind of state I'm going to be in tomorrow. So while I was um, at work, a couple of hours into the shift, I texted him and I told him that, you know, I was thinking of him. And that I was praying for him, praying that he will, um, I told him to, you know, pray and to try his best to figure out how to get through that day. And, you know what I'm saying? So I told him to let, let him know if he need me. I actually want to lay eyes on him. I'm the type of person where I, I want to lay eyes on you to make sure that you're okay. I have no idea, um if he's really okay or if he's just faking the funk because He's been taught that he's just got to be tough and he didn't have his parents around in his life the way that he should. So it's like, and, you know, on top of all of that, he ended up going away, pulling some time because of the dumb mistakes that he ended up making. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that he is one of the few who really got reformed, if you will, after going to jail slash prison right so yeah i checked in on him he hadn't said anything back to me um he might say something later on he might still be asleep i'm not sure but anyway um i'm gonna reach out again tomorrow um i will let y'all know if we end up linking up because that is a possibility so you know what i'm saying because i do want to lay eyes on him I told him, you know, I'm not going to be off, but, you know, I want to lay eyes on you. So, like, if he ends up being here, he can, you know, drop by or we can meet up somewhere. If it's in passing or whatever, I told him, even if it's in passing, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to lay eyes on you. I haven't seen him at work, nothing. So, you know, even before she passed. So, yeah, y'all, I will keep y'all updated on that. Uh, I'll let y'all know what he tell me about what happened at the funeral. Um... The young dude, when I like I told y'all earlier, he was the breaker. And so he was like, I can tell that you're depressed. 
And I was like, how so? He was like, because you ain't done your hair and you ain't been changing your glasses out like you had been doing before. I told y'all he'd be paying like super duper close attention to the way I move. And he right about that. Like normally, like I had been getting into a thing where even if I, I could be wearing all black, I'm going to change my glasses out to something else. You know, sometimes, well, I ain't going to lie. That one, I had a good little stint where I was wearing them them, them clear aviators. Now, I, I live for those. I live for aviator glasses. That just was what it was. But um, I was trying to, you know, have a lot of variety of the ones that I would bring to work. But I just, I've been out of it. I ain't been caring. So every day I grab these. I just throw them on. I'm like, well, I got a see to get down the road, so let me put them on. It is what it is. Anyway, y'all, I'm about to go inside. Pretty sure they're going to be running around, stomping around, dragging stuff, doing what they normally do. I'm so sick and tired of them. Um, Right when I turn this off, I'm going to reach out to the landlord and ask her again, when are they leaving? And to let her know that my package had been opened. And it was clear that it was from somewhere in particular. Like it has, like I got the like the bag. It has a big S on it and it has shaper mint in big bold letters on the front and on the back. So it's not like you would have mistaken it for something of yours. You didn't even have to look at the label to know it wasn't yours. So I'm just saying. But anyway, yeah, I'm about to text her because I'm sick and tired. Like you're already disturbing my peace and you over here taking it upon yourself to go inside my packages girl if you don't get out of here you your children or whoever open my stuff that has any affiliation to you don't touch my stuff all right y'all i bored y'all long enough <sighs> i don't know how i feel right now there's so many things i want to do and can't but anyway let me go in here and eat i see y'all tomorrow y'all have a good one bye